This next step is very important in the fact that everything has to be at a specific location in order to bake details from one mesh to the next. So, in order to do this, I like to put everything at zero. Here's how you do that. Let's go into object mode. Transform origin to geometry. Then, object apply location. What that does is snaps it perfectly at zero, okay? Then, object transform geometry to origin. Then we have to make sure that everything is zeroed out. Sure enough, it is. This will take it off your model and put it in the middle of the world if it is on a model. In this case, I, take, I took the head off the model and brought it into a new scene. Now that it's in the center of the world, what we want to do is get rid of the multi-res it has on it by lowering it all the way down and hitting apply and then adding a new one. In this case, I'm going to subdivide it to about level 5. I'm also going to take the wireframe off of it so it's not so annoying to look at. And I'm going to shift duplicate, shift D on the keyboard, and move this one over. Okay, now what I just did is I allowed this to have a change. So this one has 2.136. If I need to go back to zero, I can. I could just hit zero. That's important. I'm going to label these. This is head low. And this is going to be head high. On head high, I can make all kinds of goofy changes. So that's what I'm going to be doing. The first thing I'm going to be doing is taking some of these faces right here and creating a little visor. So control E and then afterwards I'm going to go along normal. Click on it and then I'm just going to space it out just a little bit off the mesh. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to go a couple in on this one. Again, control E and then along normal. And I didn't really get to see how far that came off, so I'm going to put it at an angle so I can see it and then calculate off the distance. I don't want it too far off just right about there. Alright, so that just gives him a little bit more of a menacing look right there. And this is what it looks like at a higher res. The next step is I go and snarf, I mean technically not snarf, but take in some way some alphas. So I'm going to advertise for Pixelogic and say Pixelogic is an amazing program. It's ultra amazing. It's $699. It does everything that Blender does and more. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's go to the Download Center. And let's go to Alpha Library. And under Alpha Library, we're going to go to Industrial, 
and pick out a bolt. Now you can see there's a lot of things that are pretty cool here. I'm going to grab this bolt right here, download, save. that on my desktop double click that and I will put this in something um, let's see here I'll put this in advanced sculpting I have to open this with Photoshop or GIMP, doesn't really matter, and save as a Targa. 24 bit. And that way, in Blender, I can use it as a sculpting brush. Okay, to do that, all I do is have to go to Texture, New. Drop this down to image or movie. Open. Just like that. And I'll call this something. Hex. Enter at the after the word. Now I should be able to go into sculpt mode and I should be able to make sure that I have F draw on. Drag dots on. Symmetry on X. Curve. This is a curve with a drop off. I'm going to choose this one that has no drop off. Make my brush smaller with the bracket keys. And see what happens. Okay, look at the pattern. I don't have enough resolution for it, so I'm going to have to divide it up high one more before I could use this. Okay, so let's see what happens. Not bad. I'm going to actually try a different, not this one, but I'm going to try dots. I don't know if I like that. It's too subtle. Let me make sure that that's appearing the correct way. So here under texture, aha, that's what the problem is. There it is. Yes, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So I'm just going to place one of those here. And see how the varies are turned on? It varies in thing. So the drag dots does not vary. And I could drag it around and drop it wherever I want. So that's the advantage. Okay. Notice how I had a change over here. That's kind of concerning me. So I'm going to turn off 
X symmetry for a second. going to add one of those right here with symmetry turned on. Okay, go back to object mode here. Everything should be symmetrical, but if it's not showing up symmetrical, I'm just going to have to wing it. It's because of this thing being here that makes it non-symmetrical. There we go. That one worked out. So it looks like just the top of the head. There we go. We got these crazy bolts going on. That's perfect. Gonna put these a little bit closer. That way they show up. Good. And I'll just hit place them by hand here. All right, there we go. Now what I want to do is just these are small examples of what you can do, but what I want to do now is transfer this detail over to the original mesh. There, make him look a little haphazardly put together here. Sometimes you might have two or three bolts. Yeah, I like that a lot better. All right, so in the next video, we transfer this detail over to the actual other object.